Hey guys, it's Tyler from Paragon Supply, and we're back with another episode of Thank God It's Happy Hour. Today, we're tackling the World War I era champagne cocktail, the French 75. Let's get going. So the French 75 is another classic cocktail, and it's named after the French 75mm field gun. Three, two, one. This drink was popular around World War I, and it was named after this gun because both would knock you flat on your ass. It's quite a big gun, and it's quite a big drink, so it makes, makes a lot of sense. At the time of its creation, it was actually dubbed one of the most powerful cocktails in the world, so it sort of puts it into context. You may have heard of this cocktail before because it's actually one of the few drinks mentioned by name in the classic film Casablanca. It's one of the favorites of Humphrey Bogart's character, Rick! Um, and we're excited to make one, so let's go ahead and throw one together. The original recipe combines gin, champagne, lemon juice, and sugar, uh, but we're going to swap out the champagne for a sparkling Prosecco. There's really no harm in swapping out the champagne for other sparkling wines, and choosing one like this that uh, is an organic fermented uh, option brings other flavors to the table that champagne just wouldn't. It also brings down the price, which is, uh, you know, definitely a win in my book, which brings us to our gin. Uh, it's important to choose a light, balanced gin because it is contributing so much flavor and volume to the cocktail. Uh, we're gonna go ahead with the BC favorite, the dry gin from Tempo. Uh, it's got, you know, your classic gin botanical flavors of juniper and coriander, um, but a little bit of a twist of the West Coast um, sort of vibe, which I think is gonna pair perfectly with what we've got going on. So the only other ingredients you need to throw this guy together are fresh lemon juice and some simple syrup. We're going to build it in a shaker, so let's go ahead and add our ingredients. We're going to start with our citrus juice. We're going to do roughly three quarters of an ounce of our lemon juice and about the same volume of simple syrup. And then we're going to actually add two full ounces of our gin. We can grab some ice and shake this guy together. And we're going to strain this guy into our glass. So once we've got our cocktail strained out, we can go ahead and add our sparkling wine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use an organic Prosecco. The benefit of using a organic fermented sparkling wine versus a standard one is it's going to add a lot of those additional flavors that you get from a more natural fermentation, which I think in this drink is going to uh, react really nicely. So we're going to pour about two ounces of our champagne into the glass. So there you go, there's the French 75. Let's give it a taste. That is good. That is like super balanced, really approachable, um, and it totally hides the fact that there's two ounces of gin hiding in there. Like you could drink that all day long on a nice spring day and not even notice the alcohol content. That's very dangerous. Um, but it's interesting, the Prosecco actually added, I think, more to the drink than anything else because of the natural fermentation. It has a little bit more funkiness, a little bit more of like um, that bite at the end from, I think, both carbonation and the fermentation. So it takes what would, I think, normally be a very sweet cocktail with all the sugar we added um, and turns it into something that's refreshing and makes you want to come back and have another sip. Yeah, super nice and light on your palate. The champagne or the sparkling wine instantly just causes the drink to sort of bubble across your tongue and release all of the nice botanicals that were after in the gin. It's awesome. It's really like, you know, there's a reason why this is a classic and it's been around for a hundred years and it's because it's so perfectly balanced. It's funny, I can hear it in my skull how bubbly it is. I'm not, I don't think you can though, but this is definitely a very light, effervescent, refreshing cocktail. I mean, it's pretty tough to go wrong with one that's 
uh, been around this long. So basically, this drink is lemonade with two ounces of gin in it. It totally hides the gin. It's super refreshing, nice and balanced. It's sweet and sour. It's got that nice um, sort of balance going on. Um, it's great. And again, definitely, this is a place where like a bit of a funkier sparkling wine um, really shines and turns this drink into something that is a little bit more, a little bit more elevated than what you might get with just like you know your liquor store special ingredients. Yeah, I mean it's a great one. If you like this video and you like classic cocktails and the content we're creating, be sure to give us a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Good looking at you, kid.